So for the last four or five days, we've been on the Oregon coast, which has been really beautiful, way different than Alabama coast that we're used to, or even Florida coast, um, way more rugged, there's tidal pools, but it's also been way cooler. I mean, we're here in late May and it was 55, 56 and overcast. So it's kind of good to see the sun today. Uh, we've been waking our way inland, um, headed towards eventually Bend and Eugene, Corvallis and up towards Portland. But on the way, there is an absolutely beautiful spot, one of the top spots in Oregon, and that is Crater Lake that you can see behind me. It's the deepest lake in America. It's absolutely gorgeous, um, extremely blue water. Um, I think it's like 1900 and something feet deep at the bottom. There's also, as you can see, still a ton of snow up here. Um, the roads are just now opening up in the last week or so and some of them are still closed. Um, they have like roads that drive all the way up uh, like on those mountains and stuff and a lot of those are closed because it's still so snowy. Um, but we're going to check it out today and see what the lake is. I think it's just going to be driving around uh, maybe doing some picnicking and a little light hikes, nothing major. Um, but we're looking forward to seeing Crater Lake. Bend, Oregon. We just got here today. I've been waiting around in the Walmart parking lot for like two or three hours because today is the day we signed the papers uh, on our house. So Woo! we sold it. We're uh, homeless. We're homeless. We're like a turtle now. We are carrying our home on our back everywhere we go. Um, so we're celebrating. So we came to Dandy's Drive-In, uh, which people on the East Coast, it's kind of like a mini varsity here in Bend. And they have milkshakes and he's got strawberry and I've got Oreo. And we are just celebrating. You know that we celebrate really, uh, we're just big partiers. We get milkshakes for, for happy occasions like this. But we are glad that um, our house is sold, that that is gone, the papers are signed, and now we're homeless. Thanks, for, Barry. Thanks, Barry, for, uh, for selling our house for us. You did a great job. Um, and hope you guys enjoy our time in Bend. All right, so today we're going to be hiking Tumalo Falls, uh, which is about 10 to 15 miles outside of Bend. Uh, it's a beautiful waterfall. It uh, provides water to the city of Bend. I think it said 10.6 million gallons of water per day for the people of Bend and the surrounding areas. Um, not supposed to be too hard of a hike. You can park and really you can see it from the parking lot. Uh, so we're gonna go check it out. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah! The hike today actually wasn't very difficult. Where you park, you can actually see the beautiful waterfall from there. And it's a very easy hike up to the top to see the rest of the waterfall. Um, kind of had me thinking there's been times where we have really easy hikes where it's a great view from really where you park or just a few, maybe 100 or 200 yards, you have a beautiful hike where there's other places that are taking hours and hours to get to the top for a beautiful view. And you kind of get to some places and you think, hey, here's a beautiful view. And you keep going forward like, wow, this is even prettier. And then you get to the top and you're like, dang, this is better than anything I've seen before. Caleb and I, my brother Caleb and I went on a hike one time in Yellowstone Avalanche Peak Trail. And it's one of those two or three hour hikes, really difficult. Um, you have 
just some steep, steep uh, areas where it's on street rock, where you're sliding every step. And it's hard to get to the top, but you get to the top and it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, today was pretty much the opposite of that. It's an easy hike um, with a beautiful view at the bottom and even at the top of the falls. Um, but life's kind of like that too though, isn't it? There's sometimes where we get wonderful things happen to us really seemingly for no reason. It's just kind of, we show up and something awesome happens where there's other times where it's a lot of difficulty, a lot of struggle and times we think, oh yeah, we've made it, but no, we've still got more climb or, oh, here we go, we've made it here. No, there's still more climb to go. Um, but luckily today it was one of those easy hikes where you just show up and the beauty is right there before you. So we just finished our hike at Tumalo Falls. We're about to get back in the truck, head back to the camper, get some lunch, and give Callie a nap. Most of our scheduling and planning revolves around Callie's nap. If she doesn't get a nap, it is a disaster. So we've got to make sure we get her nap in the afternoon. So we usually plan to do something in the mornings and then um, something in the evening after she takes a nap and stuff. So tonight, we'll, after her nap, we're gonna go out to Bend and see the town and see what they've got down there. So tonight we went down to the Old Mill District in Bend, which is an area, uh, it's like a shopping mall, but it's way prettier than a normal shopping mall. It's on the um, river here. People are floating down and kayaking down. Um, my guess is when it's warmer than it is today, people are also tubing down and that sort of stuff. Um, it has stores like REI and American Eagle and that sort of stuff. But it also has a really big amphitheater. Um, tonight they have a concert, so it's kind of packed over here. Uh, Ray LaMontagne is in concert here. So there's a lot of people, a lot of you hipsters out there um, have all flocked to Bend tonight for this concert. Um, but it really is beautiful. It's a beautiful night out. The water's beautiful. Callie loved looking at the people floating down the river and love the birds. Um, it's a really neat place. Um, definitely a must check out when you're in Bend. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot to tell you. Um, Sydney and I are like the worst shoppers in the world. Maybe the best, it depends on how you look at it, but we literally, every time we go to a shopping mall like this or any kind of nice outdoor mall or uh, festival, flea market, farmer's market, we literally never buy anything. We always like just walk down the street and look at all the stores, but literally never buy anything. I don't know why we keep coming to these places. I guess we like them, but we just never buy anything. I say we're the best shoppers because we don't spend money. We're just too cheap. Yeah, I think it is that we're just too cheap. We always look at stuff and we're like, hey, we want that. And it's like, and uh, do we really need that? I start thinking like, how many hours of work would I have to put in to buy this, whatever item it is? Was it two hours of work or three hours? And we end up just putting it back and never actually buying it. Um, but it's still enjoyable to walk outside tonight and be on the water um, and just enjoy the time out. Callie loved the ducks and the boats. You ready? Ready. You tell daddy, ready. Set, go, go. So today we're at Smith Rock State Park. Uh, it's about 30 minutes outside of Bend, Oregon. Uh, it's one of the top attractions in Oregon, um, not just in Bend, but in Oregon in general. Um, since the 80s, there's been a lot of people that come out here and rock climb um, this mountain right there. They like to scale the face of that. Uh, we're definitely not going to be doing any rock climbing while we're here. Um, we are going to be doing some hiking, just a couple miles, not even go to the top. There's a really strenuous hike that goes all the way to the top up there, um, but we're not going to be doing that either, either because um, Sydney does have a child strapped to her back. So uh, we're going to walk around down by the river down here, um, kind of do a loop around these mountains and check it out. things that we've loved so far about our new RV travel lifestyle is how much more active we are. Um, we've been outside pretty much every day either hiking or walking to the campgrounds or Cali playing on the playgrounds. Um, it's just been a lot more active than we were before. Um, I guess we've become kind of 
more sedentary than we really wanted to be. Um, but in our new style of life, we've been way more active getting out, seeing stuff and hiking. Now in Bend, there's lots of people riding bicycles everywhere. There's people rock climbing on these rock faces, which I'm not about that life. I've never looked at a uh, 800 uh, foot wall, a uh, rock wall and thought, hey, you know, it'd be fun if I strapped myself to some rope and climbed up it. Uh, I've never really thought that. Um, and I've never seen some of these 10,000 foot mountains and thought, hey, you know, it'd be fun if I got on a bicycle and rode all the way up it. Never thought that, but we have enjoyed being outside more, uh, getting outside and enjoying um, God's creation. Um, so that's been great. Callie's liked it a lot more. She's been on the playgrounds every day and just loving being outside. You want what? A duck. You want a duck? A duck. Where? Where? Say, I want duck. A duck. How long has she been saying duck now? At least 10 minutes straight. I want duck. I want duck. I want duck. I want duck. She's stuck on repeat. Yes, yeah, she is. So while we were here, we ran into some really nice guides um, that offered to give Sydney climbing lessons. So we put Callie down and Sydney's gonna try her hand at this. So this is one of those situations where dad gets hosed. It's always been a joke in my family. Everything's good, but dad gets hosed. Well, this is dad getting hosed. Look, we had to walk. We had to walk from way down there up here. So Sydney says, Sydney says, hey, why don't you carry the backpack? That'll be fun. Ah, well, it has not been fun at all. Thanks for watching another week of On the Road. This week we're going to be making our way up the Willamette Valley as we head towards Portland. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. Please like and comment as well and stick around for our photos of the week.